Notice. Now, though they had tried to get rid of Joseph, his grace reached to him. Though they had tried to get rid of Jesus, he still comes right back around because he's dying and getting each one a white robe. He's going to take him around in home anyhow. Doesn't make a bit difference. Because he's going to I'll save them all anyhow. <laughs> now, verse 10. Notice. They asked for revenge. See? Now, if that had been the bride, it had been like Stephen's father forgiven them. <laughs> but these are Jews that just come in, see? They asked for revenge. Notice. Again, see? Again, he said. Notice, it's not... He said, it's thy brethren, the Jews. The hundred... Now, they wanted revenge. They said, oh, we're going to... Uh, we, we want you to revenge us down there. He said, just a little while now. Just a little while for, notice, let me read it here. It's in the, the 10th verse. For, and they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord? Holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given to every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet a little season. See? What? A little season. Until their fellow servants. See? Now, what is it? The prophets now are preaching to Israel. See? But thy fellow servants also, thy fellow servants, and also thy brethren that should be killed. See? The ones predestinated to be done so, see? Should be killed. As they were, should be fulfilled. See? In other words, it's per destinated to them. It's the scriptures that they had to do it. You just rest for a little while. Now you got your robes, you're going home, and just sit there a little while. See, wait just a little bit. Now notice. Now, notice. Thy brethren, thy brethren, had yet be killed, which means the 144,000 yet to be called in the tribulation. Yeah. The 144,000 is called. Wish we had time. We might get it tomorrow night, if the Lord willing. We, but just before we get in on the seal. See? Also, now what? They have to be martyred by the Antichrist that we just come to. And notice in his last ride where he breaks that covenant with them Jews down there in their shield. See? These Jews, 144,000, is to be called out by the two witnesses of Revelation 11. Now, you remember, they was to prophesy. You've read that. How many's read that? Sure, we all went and read the scripture. And they prophesied, these two witnesses prophesied, in the time of Daniel's second half of the 70 week. That is the last three and a half years. Remember how we took the Daniel 70 week? I said we need it when we got in here. I didn't know why, but I, something told me we need it. And here we are. Okay. See? Notice. In the time of Daniel, now remember, Daniel was told that the Messiah would come, the prince, the Messiah rather, and he would prophesy. Israel still had 70 weeks left. And in the midst of the 70 weeks, the Messiah would be cut off and the daily sacrifice taken away. Is that right? Yeah. But there were still three and a half weeks determined. In this block, he takes the Gentile bride. Now she goes up. And when she goes up, two prophets arise. Amen. To Israel. See? And those souls that's been martyred now, down to your real true Jews, down to there that had their name on the book, that lived the right life and done the right thing, lived Judaism to the dot. They, they were martyred by Eichmann and many others, honest people, millions of them. You go down there and them Germans shot them to death and murdered them and killed them and hung them on fences and burned them up and cremated them and everything else. That bloodless, uh, blood-hearted, hungry Hitler and Stalin and Mussolini and all that people that hated them Jews. 